On this video at Doug's Home Arcade, showcasing my Who Done It Pinball Machine by Bally. This is a game that I had actually saw before it was released to the public in Chicago at a convention that I had went to, and actually took a tour through the Link Smith factory, and I saw this game at the factory, which Link Smith was the facility that built the cabinets and all the silk screening for the play fields and put the inserts in the play fields for all the Williams games at the time. So they had one at the at that facility so I got to play this game there and then also at the convention that I went to. They had a whole bunch of these whodunit machines that uh, you were able to play in a tournament and I was actually winning the tournament for the longest time until people started buying in and uh, eventually I got booted out and I couldn't stay in play because I had to get on a plane and go back home. But I instantly fell in love with this game. I just thought it was an awesome machine and a friend of mine had That's the Midnight Madness, so at uh, midnight you get to play that mode. It took me a long time to figure that out because it actually happened to me at an arcade one time. I was actually playing at midnight and I hit that. And my friend had actually bought a brand new whodunit when it came out. So I played a lot of this game at his uh, house and I was looking for one ever since he owned his and I finally got this one just recently so it was worth the about 25 years to get one of these I had an Adams family that I had for many years and actually sold that off in order to make room for this game but it, to me this is a way better game I kinda got burnt out on Adams family a very unique machine it's got the slot machine on it which is really cool because I got my Lucky 7 which also has a slot machine reels on it as well and um, the Clue um, theme is just very awesome how you could uh, gather up the clues and try to guess uh, who committed the the murder this machine's in pretty good machine uh, actually good condition it is a import, it's actually a French import. They didn't make too many of these. The only modification I did was put the color display in it. It was well worth it. But other than that's all uh, pretty much factory. So it does have the single coin door as well showing that uh, it is an import and still has the French ROMs in it I haven't gotten around the change in it yet But overall, it's in really good condition. I was very pleased with it, and uh, it was worth the wait. Uh, I've been playing the the daylights out of this one, and uh, it's a game that I've just haven't gotten bored of it yet after playing this game since it came out. So this one's definitely going to be a keeper. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pause for a moment, and we'll get the game started so you can see in action.
about Trixie. I gave her a job dealing so I could keep an eye on her. Tony is not the trustworthy sort. 